Hi everybody and welcome to this resource that's looking at concept maps. You know, sometimes you need an activity that's fast and effective. And that's what this is. The concept map develops learners' conceptual understanding and their literacy skills all at the same time. It's possibly, to my mind, one of the greatest literacy tools of all time. If the brainstorm is a Ford Cortina, then this is the Ford Mustang. Now this resource is part of a three-part series. This first one, this one, we're gonna be looking at using the concept map in classrooms to help your learners retain and recall information. In part two, we're gonna have a look at how to use some of that content that they've generated to develop spelling skills. And in part three, we're gonna take it further and we're gonna have a look at how to use the content that the learners have made from the concept map to help develop their writing skills. They're all going to be based on the concept map that you're going to see in this episode. Now the concept map is really a flash form of the brainstorm but with some funky differences. It's really designed to connect what the learners already know with what they're trying to learn. And what I'm going to show you is just a couple of ways that I've used it in class that have had some really effective outcomes. Now here's a couple of ways that I've used the concept map in classrooms. And of course it all depends on the literacy skills of your learners about which particular activity you use. But let's just assume, for example, that your learners can write pretty basic sentences, but they might have some troubles with spelling and so on. Well, I would hand out, first of all, an A3 sheet to each of the learners. And if they had lower literacy skills, I would just do this on the whiteboard with them. But I'm going to hand out a sheet to them, and they're going to complete this in groups. We're going to take a word that we want to learn about, and the word in this example is going to be drench. So we're drenching animals, you know, in the agriculture context. Now, we'd write drench in the middle of the page, and in the top right-hand corner, we'd have a prompt, and this prompt is going to be is. And then we're going to have the prompt has, does, and is found. And I like to do this pretty quickly and uh, really give the learners a bit of a challenge. So what I say to the learners is, here are your prompts, is, has, does, and found. I'm going to give you five minutes to write as many words or as many things in each of those quadrants as you can. On your marks, get set. Go. So learners will rip into this pretty quickly and you want them to begin generating words and groups very quickly. So drench is a liquid, a medicine, I'm not sure is it a vaccine, uh, and so on. And they'll be writing these in there as much as they can. And it doesn't actually matter at this point whether they're terribly correct or not because we're going to look at that soon and fix that. And then they're going to move on to has. Drench has chemicals, a dosage rate, uh, drench has instructions, drench has a time frame, and so on and so on. Uh, and then we might jump quickly to the third quadrant, which would be drench does uh, kill worms or kill the intended parasite. Drench does make happier animals. Drench does, and so on and so on. There'll be other things in there. And then we'll move on to uh, location or drench is found. Drench is found on cattle farms, sheep farms, in dairy farms, you know, it's found in vet clinics. Uh, it's found in a variety of places and we'd get them to write that in there as well. But the idea at this stage is that the learners are just generating their own ideas about what they know and we're going to be adding to this as time goes on. Okay, there's a couple of things you can do with these sheets with the learners' work once they've finished. Here's one thing that I've had a lot of success with. Well, what I would do is I would, of course, get them to uh, read out their answers to me and we'd have a class discussion. But the point is, is that at some point, I'll be collecting those sheets off them. What I really like to do is take those sheets, fold them away, and just put them away for a while. Now, imagine that we did this activity on day one, maybe a Monday, uh, before they were learning anything about drenching. So I want to ascertain what they already know about the topic. So I can use this as a formative assessment technique. I can find out what they know, I can see, or I got a good idea of that. I take those A3 sheets and I pop them away. And then imagine we're going to be learning about drench throughout the week. And now comes Friday. And what I do is I ask them to repeat this activity again. I give them five minutes again, hand out the A3 sheet, and I say, go. You know, I make it competitive. And we see how many things they can write down. Now what happens is they end up writing lots down. You know, lots and lots of things that they've learned throughout the week. And then once they've finished, we stop and talk about it. What I really like to do is go and get their first sheet, which they think has been thrown away, and I bring them out and I show it, and I can compare the first sheet with the second sheet. And it's a visual uh, 
you know, signal to them about how much they've learned. They can actually see, wow, you know, on the first day we did this, we put maybe, you know, five, six or seven words in there. And now this thing is covered with information. So for a lot of learners, that's just a great encouragement. You know, we were here and now we're here and they can get a real visual sense of what that is. In the next part, we're going to look at how to use some of the content that the learners have generated from the concept map to help improve their spelling. And that's just going to be some quick activities that you can use as energizers in the classroom. But in part three, we're going to look at how to use what the learners have generated to help develop their writing skills. We're going to sequence it, we're going to put it into a structure, and that's going to further help the learners uh, develop writing skills and be able to retain and recall the information that they're learning.